Hey guys, and welcome to Overland and Z. You join me, stunning, stunning morning out on the beach, autumn. I love autumn, I really do. Summer's killed, but autumn it just, just takes the cake that little bit more. Anyway, the reason we are here and the reason I'm talking to you guys, I've had this felt and shelter now for about three, three and a half years. And um, I'm just in the process of swapping up for a green one as I think that it would look awesome with the white and I'm just kind of ready to try something new, give up you know, a bit of a change. Occasionally I get questions from people asking how well do these hold up over the time you know, living outside. So this has been bar about two months when I swap vehicles on the vehicle non-stop. It spent three months in lockdown in Christchurch with you know, no one kind of looking after it doing anything and you know, it lives outside in the rain, in the wind, in the weather, 24 seven. So you know, I was, what's the word? Curious as to how well I guess this would hold up and I've been absolutely stoked with the condition that it's still in after all these years and I don't even know how many nights I would have done in, a lot. Like it has been to Capriangus twice, once, twice. Um, it's been, you know, all around the South Island. It's, you know, it's been everywhere. I put it through rain, wind, snow, sleet, you name it, this tent has done it. And you know, I, I have looked after it, but it's also a testament to how all these things are built and I guess the quality of the canvas and things have gone into it. So like, you've seen me unfold it many, many times, but I thought as I do it today, I'd just go through and give you a real quick overview of I guess the areas where it has worn and the areas where it is still looking really, really good. Let's jump into it. So the thing that takes probably the most punishment of this entire tent is this travel cover. This thing lives outside. It has been outside now for, as I said, like three and a half years, basically into the New Zealand sun. It doesn't go under cover very often at all. And it gets pummeled by trees and bushes and all sorts of stuff off road. You know, I guess even the sand on like beaches when it's blowing through. Um, and I've been stoked with how well it's held up. Like it has got a few little nicks and stuff in it. They don't appear to affect the water tightness of it, which is awesome. Um, you know, it's faded a little bit. Again, it's been out in the sun for that long. Like nothing in New Zealand lasts, you know, all that well out in the sun, let's be honest. So I'm stoked with how well it's come out. And I'm sure that with a really good clean, it would probably come up looking really good. Yeah, one of those things that I kind of like that looks a little bit weathered, makes it look used. And I guess, for me at least, you know, it's, it's got those memories of the adventures that I have gone on and, you know, taken it with. So the tent is all unfolded and um, I thought I'd just kind of run around and show you guys, I guess, the, the higher wear areas and the places that are lasting really, really well. As I said, like there's nothing majorly wrong with this at all. It's still in really, really good condition and like, you know, whoever gets it next is gonna be completely happy with it. But I thought I'd you know, show you, um, I guess, what a tent looks like after that many years of being outdoors and used. So yeah, it's like you guys can see, you know, there's just you know, some dust and stuff along here and I guess just kind of where it does rub on itself when it's in the bag and on the road. So, you know, all of these toggles and things are in real good condition still, as I guess you'd expect for marine grade stainless steel. Um, the holes in here, so these holes in here, a couple of them have gotten, I guess, a little bit looser, um, just with the wind and stuff kind of rattling the tin and I completely expected it, but yeah, it's one of those things that I have put some like tape uh, under one of them just to, just to quieten it down that little bit more so if we keep coming around um yeah kind of as i mentioned like there's not a whole heap to really show the, the tent is just in really really good condition like you know there's dirt and stuff on it as you would expect but for a thing that has lived outside its entire life and i guess in the garage for a couple of months when um i was waiting for this car to arrive you know all of these highway areas like this are just Whoa, it's really hard to get down these days because of how my roof rack set up, but yeah, they're all still in perfect condition and stuff. So I'm pretty stoked with the outside of this. Um, you know, I've taken the fly off and cleaned it a couple of times just to get rid of all the bugs and bird droppings and stuff that end up on it over the years. I'm trying to think of things I can actually point out that I've spotted, but like there are just so few of them. The tent is just, you know, real, real good. Um, I don't know, I guess stitching around there but again not really a big issue like this tent is still completely watertight and doing really really well
So welcome to the inside of the tent. Obviously this is where you know I spend my time when I'm on the road, sleeping. And um, yeah, I've been in here in 100k winds. I've been in here when it's hot, cold, snowing, raining, sunny, you name it. We've experienced the weather in here. Um, and I mean, again, like, for a tent that's been outdoors its entire life and you know, kind of gone all around the country and stuff. It's just in real, real tidy condition in here. Like, the only thing that I'm gonna point out, and this is pretty, pretty minor, is some of the oil from these hinges ends up on the canvas. Like, literally, that's the only thing I can think of um, in here that has, you know, not even been an issue, but has just changed since it was brand new. Um, I'll give you guys just like a quick whip round and stuff. Like the mattress is still comfy. I take it out occasionally. I've taken the cover off and cleaned it a couple of times. Just it does get grubby like you're climbing in and out when you're camping. And you know, even though I leave boots and stuff hanging up in the bag at the door, you still get stuff inside the vehicle. It's just kind of part of what happens when you're camping. But yeah, like all of the stitching is still all good. That was my primary concern when buying Rifter 10 like there. They're a big investment and you do want them to last. I expected to get about three years out of this. Given I'm now way more into it than that, I mean, I have no complaints. Like Scott's still got our old one that we did have originally, and that thing's still fine as well. So I guess testament to how all these things are actually built. Um, I do feel like I'm struggling with like the, the things that have gone wrong with this. Um, I promise you that it's not intentional. I'm just, like this thing just does what I want it to do. It still is nice in here. And I guess that's, that's the primary thing, like it makes it, nice to get to camp set it up and just climb in here and relax so yeah that is a real quick overview of the felden shelter after three and a half years of being on the back or the top of my vehicles all over the country through anything you can imagine you know this tent has done it beautifully um i know these videos always seem a little bit biased when there's not really that many negatives but this product has exceeded i guess my expectations in that it is lasting really really well and i have zero issues with how it's going after that three and a half years. Look after it, it'll look after you. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch you next time on Overland and Zed. See you later.